Yo, what's up, everybody? It's the Fire Clown from Alpha Squad Paintball. Today, I'm gonna be talking about uh, slings, how to make a tactical sling out of household shit. All right, let's check it out. All right, these are the things you're gonna need for a sling. If you got a duffel bag, there's that big strap on the duffel bag. Just go ahead and take that off your duffel bag. It's the uh, thing on top of the gun there, that big strap right there with the two clips. You're gonna need that. Now, what I did to these is I painted them. I painted them black. Not also that I paint that black, but I also painted the neck on my hopper black and the top part of my hopper, the little door on there. And if you look down where my uh, remote line is, I also painted my remote line black, the little metal parts and the other piece. Um, you don't want a bunch of shiny shit on your gun, so I recommend you uh, carefully spray paint all those, uh, or you can paint over them with a brush, paint over all those uh, shiny uh, spots on your gun. You don't want to be shining on the field. You get spotted with the quickness. All right, what I did right here is I took these clips. I don't know what these clips are called, but you can see they're freaking clips from like a duffel bag or something. Just go ahead and take those off. And uh, if there's some material left, like from the strap, uh, you're going to want to cut those and uh, sew them together. But make sure the clip is in the strap before you sew it together and sew it, you know, on your um, around your buttstock like I did right here. And that'll never come off. But the one on the barrel will that can slide up and down on the on the barrel. I mean, I'm gonna show you so it doesn't slide up and down. But basically, you know, it's pretty easy to figure out. You know, you you do one loop, but put the loop within the other um, loop that's uh, attached to the to the other clip. Pretty easy. I mean, come on, look at it. Just figure it out. Anyway, so you do this part first. All right, as you can see, I'm uh, sliding the first clip. Uh, onto the barrel now you see where there's two loops you want one loop going around the barrel and the other loop going around the loop that's going around the barrel uh, and uh, this way the uh, the clip is uh, parallel to the gun all right the next thing you want to do is you want to uh, grab a piece of the strap and um, measure it to one side of the clip to the other Pull the clip, pull the first clip that's on your barrel all the way down and um, measure the um, the distance with the uh, strap right here uh, to the other clip. And uh, what you want to do is you want to sew the uh, two ends on the, on the uh, strap right here. And then once you do that, you put in some um, zip ties. Two, I put two because just to make sure that it's strong enough. And then what you want to do is you want to attach it to the gun or to the clips. All right, once you're done measuring and putting in the zip ties, you want to go ahead and attach it to the first clip on the barrel of the gun and then go ahead and attach it to the clips on the stock of the gun. And it should look something like this. All right, now if you're playing tactical paintball without a vest, uh, you're just not playing tactical paintball. So uh, you need to get yourself a vest. I recommend this uh, Rap 4 right here or any vest that has these uh, clips on their vest and if you don't have these clips on your vest, pff, sew them on or something. Or if not, uh, you can just go ahead and put a strap around your neck and it's going to put a strain around your neck. So what I do is I grab that first um, strap from the duffel bag with the clips on it and I go ahead and attach them to the, uh, first I'll attach it to the left clip. And then what I would do after that is I would put it through the um, strap that we made on the gun or the little handle that we made on the gun and then go ahead and attach it to the other clip. All right, this is how you do it with the vest on. You got to do it with the vest on. I showed you with the vest off so you can see what I'm talking about. All right, you grab the strap from the duffel bag. You want to make it kind of short. You don't want it to droop down you don't want it to hang low you want your gun you want the stock like on the uh, at your chest the end of the stock like around the center of your chest or below your chest uh, but around your chest you know you don't want it too low because you want to be able to pull that gun up real quick pull that stock up to your shoulder and then lift with the gun lift the gun up you know with the uh, stock on your shoulder all right so basically you attach the first clip to your tactical vest and uh, then you loop it through the um, strap on your gun and you want the strap facing you and you want to go ahead and loop it and attach it to the other side of your vest 
And it should look something like this. As you can see, both uh, parts are clipped on. And it should just hang over your chest. If you don't like it, you can put it to the side. And uh, it stretches out and everything. And the, the main reason or the main purpose for having a tactical sling is, um, or any sling, is so, you know, you won't put a lot of strain on your arms because those guns tend to weigh a thousand pounds after walking around, you know, holding them up, you know, patrolling or just playing paintball. You know, you're pretty much retarded if you don't have a, um, a sling and you're playing, um, paintball. Another main reason is, um, when the game's over, you can just let go of the gun and just let it hang off your chest. You don't have to worry about putting it down anywhere. You know, you don't have to worry about, you know, asking somebody to hold it for you or whatever, you know. I'll never do that. I'll never put my paintball gun on the ground. You know, it'll hang off my chest. You know what I mean? Um, and that's basically it. This is the Fire Clown from the Alpha Squad Paintball. Over and out.